Hi, welcome to Wellness. I am your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, life events, and well-being. Today I'm joined by an amazing uh, man who is a personal trainer as well as uh, multiple sclerosis um, exercise specialist. Yep. Mike is yeah. known. Welcome, Mike. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. So tell me, what does HOW approach stand for? <laughs> uh, healthy Ongoing Wellness. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it just kind of came to me one day, uh, and I said, one day I'm going to do something with this, this term. Right. Uh, and right. Uh, over the years, through my martial arts experience and uh, my training and you know, working out in gyms and just, I had great mentors growing up. I accumulated a lot of knowledge through sure. reading and everything else sure. and uh, just came up with an approach that I can really help people. And you do. And how many years, how much experience have you had? Because I hear across the board many uh, exercise specialists, but uh, you have a great deal of experience and varied experience. Um, well, we um, at my, you know, the people I work with, you know, in conjunction with and partner with, but uh, me specifically, I've been in and out of gym since I was a kid. I was, you know, 11 years old when I started the martial arts and getting taught in a lot of Eastern philosophies and a lot of Eastern um, mm -hmm. modalities. Um, and then I started the How Approach Health and Fitness. It's going on six years. Wow. Um, okay. So yeah. Uh, it's all kind of come together at that point. So my vast experience before I decided that this was where I was needed and where I was led to, to be. Right. I know personally <clears throat> I had a situation uh, with dancing as a nutritionist and uh, my shoulder was killing me. Yeah. And even though you're very, very busy with multiple <laughs> clients simultaneously at the same time, you took the time to, um, to really um, personalize it specifically to my needs, knowing that I work all the time and have several offices and, and just to, to make sure that it would work with my needs and do something slow hmm. rather than get me into something that would be excessive momentum too quickly. Yeah. So I appreciated that. Oh, of course. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's one of the things. It's, it's we, we try, everything we do is individualized. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's not a cookie cutter type mm -hmm. of atmosphere. You know, mm -hmm. every person, everybody and everybody is different. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have, we treat it as such, you know, right. and everybody has specific needs and, no, and we make absolutely. sure that we, we address those things. Right. And, and personally tailored to each individual that yeah. it's not cookie cutter. Yeah, absolutely. Any means. Yeah, I think you are one of the very best in Northern Westchester, oh, thank Mike. You. And you I do something, it. you do something very, very special in a specialization. Can you share that with my viewers? Uh, yeah, I work with people with multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune issue. Mm -hmm. um, it's a disease that um, basically the, there's the myelin sheath that goes around your nerve mm -hmm. and what happens is the body kind of the, old, the immune uh, system attacks the sheath, deteriorates and informs lesions which disrupts the neurological connection from the brain to the muscle. And what we do is we rehabilitate that and we try to kind of get ahead of the eight ball. Um, and try to, once again, through martial arts, mm -hmm. you learned how to do an involuntary movement. So one of my theories is that we can, we can set that same type of um, theory up with working with people with MS that have that disruption kind of going around it. Right. And, and getting that muscle tissue to, to start strengthening again and breaking down and building and getting that lean tissue back. Um, and kind of bypassing, you know, if that nerve's not working, well, we're going to try another path, right. so to speak. And uh, we've had right. great success. And, um, I'm, right. you know, my mentors have been great with mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. And um, the schooling that I've went through for that, and the mm -hmm. special certifications, mm -hmm. uh, it's all been just, a, it's, it's been a phenomenal journey. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I wish, and I pray every day that one day, I can specifically work with those people for mm -hmm. free, and my other endeavors will just support my family and everything else. And, and take care of things. Yeah. Um, and you also hold support groups as well. Right? Um, yeah, that just recently got moved though, just because it's too, too, too busy, there's too much going on, so they need a little bit more privacy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I started that because I just wanted to help. I just mm -hmm. want people need to plug into something to learn that they're not alone, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm actually going to start something else. And I haven't really dubbed the name yet. Hopefully 
soon, but uh, mm -hmm. something like the MS Fitness Club or something like that. That's great. Where whether you have multiple sclerosis or not, sure. you're there for the support of right. somebody you know or somebody that does have it. Absolutely. And we all get together, we'll do events together, et cetera. That's you wonderful. Know, make it kind of like a club. Yeah. I like your um, I like your demeanor. I like your hands-on approach. Um, like I said, you have a, um, a gift in terms of um, no matter who else is in the room, you make that person feel very special, and that you give them your undivided attention, which mm -hmm. is essential today. Um, and as well, you also tailor in terms not just exercise but also nutritional counseling, right? Mm -hmm. Accordingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how, how do you do that? You have uh, different programs for different needs? Well, um, you know, m my philosophy is, is kind of based on a, the Paleolithic ancestral type patterns of mm -hmm. eating, using that as a guideline, mm -hmm. cutting out the normal junk foods mm -hmm. and the, you know, the vegetable oils and the high sugar diet of the standard American diet, cutting all that out, letting them go through like a 30 day kind of a cleanse on that avenue. Um, and then from there, dialing it in per person. Uh -huh. You know, once again, we all have different needs. So someone with an autoimmune issue is going to be drastically different than somebody that's training for a marathon, Very you know. Much so. so we have to dial all that in and um, right. when I'm not able to really sit down and spend that time mm -hmm. with the person, mm -hmm. I do have resources for people that mm -hmm. I use. I have certain nutritionists that I trust, health coaches, mm -hmm. I have a chiropractor mm -hmm. in the practice, you know, all of that this way we can all come together and work for the, the greater need of that one person. That's great. I know you've referred people to me in yeah. terms of my work as an RD. Absolutely. Um, because I, I've worked as a nutritionist for 21 years yeah. and I work out of three offices, specifically designing but also my expertise lending itself. But I think it's essential what you do in terms of that you're personally tailoring it to each individual yeah. and you're basing that based on your experience yeah. as well as being uh, an avid reader yeah. of anything you can pick up. Yeah. And you yeah. have a favorite book? Uh, the Paleo Cure, mm -hmm. Chris Kresser. It's, it's a great book. Uh, once again, uh, yeah. the paleo, paleo diet sure. guidelines, but what he does is he goes very in depth into breaking it down into segments for people's specific needs and, and it goes about how to, and teaches people how to right. kind of assess themselves and to to work with themselves a little bit. But I use that, and, and it's one of those books that you can just pick up, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be read from beginning to end. You mm -hmm. can just pick up what section do you need at that moment. Which is wonderful. It's, it's such a great book. And it it's really based, so, so the premise is uh, the Paleolithic diet, and then it's customized depending on what the disease is yeah. and what foods are pertinent. Or, or whatever your goals are. Okay. If you're an athlete, if you just want to, you know, lose weight, whether sure. you want to just stay, you know, maintain, uh -huh. or if you have an autoimmune issue or GERD right. or, you know, SIBO or anything like that. It's, right. it's has specific uh, sections for right. each, which is great. Well, I know you practice what you preach, so tell me, what are some good tips for the holiday? What would you recommend for the holiday? <laughs> Don't stress yourself out. Don't stress yourself out. Because once you start stressing your body, it yeah. doesn't matter what you're eating. Because <laughs> your body's putting it, your body doesn't know the difference yeah. between a food stressor or an outside stressor. So, so what you want to do is just, you know, look, having a piece of cake tomorrow, <laughs> is it really going to kill you? No, it's not going to kill you. If you do it every day, well, that's an issue. Sure. It's the holidays. Enjoy the holidays. Just think to yourself, mm -hmm. how am I going to feel mm -hmm. tomorrow if I eat this? Or how right. am I going to feel in a little while if I eat this or if right. I overeat? But be happy. Smile. Laugh. Right. Life, is to, life is supposed to be fun. I know. Enjoy I know. it. It's no. true. You got to make each day extraordinary in some small way. You Every day's got to be a masterpiece. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, it does. It does. You had shared something with me, even as a nutritionist. You know, I, I worked as a scientist prior to my graduate work. I've been to school for eight years and multiple degrees. But you mentioned something very interesting to me about starches, which I found. Oh, the resistant starch. Yeah. yeah Can yeah, you yeah, talk yeah. about that just a little um, bit? I, and I found this out. It was very interesting to me because I don't really eat rice or. No, potatoes. I'll eat, you know, sweet potatoes. And I don't eat grains at all. Right. And I was reading something, and, and apparently, you know, where, uh, like, say, a potato, white potato or white rice, where it normally gets broken down in, in your uh, intestine. Right. If it's warm. Right. But if you eat it cold. Right. It passes through the intestine. It gets broken down into in the colon. And helps your microbiota. Interesting. Your, your, your gut. Yeah. Yeah, flora. cold. Yeah, cold. Okay. So you're getting the resistant starch to help you with your right. 
with your your back good good bacteria right. and it doesn't have the effects interesting of, yeah it was really interesting so an example of a cold starch would be uh, cold potatoes, like if you make like a nice cold potato salad. Oh, okay. Uh, white rice. So okay. like if you're eating sushi or something like right. that, the rice is cold. Interesting. It, Very interesting. Know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an interesting. But I, also I, um, unripe green bananas, uh, mm -hmm. green plantain, mm -hmm. also very good. Really? For uh, resistant starch. They, um, they help uh, uh, stabilize your blood sugar, sustain mm -hmm. your energy, and, and maintain it throughout yep. the day. A lot of I good I thought benefits. that was very fascinating. Yeah. And that's the one thing that's... Um, in terms of what you do. I meet with a, uh, a very large amount of people that are personal trainers or work in exercise. And you know so much, Mike. <laughs> and um, Thank you. you have a general <laughs> philosophy that I do that we can always learn and every day uh, yeah. we can always become better as a nutritionist or as a personal trainer if we just keep learning and reading. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's uh, essential. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. So what is Mike's way of relaxation? What is something that you truly like to do to relax? Be with my family. Yeah. It's, that's relaxing to me. We, whatever yeah. we do, I mean, you know, we'll go hiking together. Mm -hmm. We'll just go for a drive together. We'll mm -hmm. watch a movie together. Um, whatever it is, you know, sure. that, that's my downtime. And, and I use, especially Sundays. Right. Sundays are just, there's no business conducted at all. It's just family and, you know, yeah. my faith and all that. But it's just, sure. that's my day. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And I'm I, trying to wean off the Saturdays a little bit because I can get a little carried away on Saturdays. But Yeah, because you put so much time and effort into each, every, each client mm -hmm. you meet. You put your heart and soul into it, and it's obvious. Thank you. So we're almost ready to wrap up in about two minutes. Do you have anything last you want to share with my viewers? Um, yeah. Um, I am the Northeast Ambassador for a charity, the Multiple Squirrels. It's an MS Fitness Challenge. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And, um, you know, I just, you know, we always look for donations, and I know that sounds like a plug, but I don't want it to be because it's, it's really meant to help people. What we do is we have a 12-week program that if we get enough funds, People can work with me for 12 weeks at no cost to them. Right. And a lot of people with MS are, you know, they're on disability or out of work, and it's tough. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can go on the msfitnesschallenge.com mm -hmm. um, and donate and just put the how approach so they know what region it came from. Mm -hmm. Or you can go on my website, um, howapproach.com, uh -huh. and there's a link there as well. No, that's great to know. And I'd appreciate and if, it. if you want me to stop in at any time gratis to help these people, they're share Absolutely. some basic nutritional expertise I'm always available yeah I want to try to put a seminar together that'd be great I I'm working on that maybe in the new year we try to do something yeah that'd be great Absolutely. thank you so much for thank being you so here much. I appreciate, appreciate it thank yeah, you so much my pleasure so when you eat well and feel well it's something you want to do for the rest of your life remember moderation and balance is key thank you so much for joining us have a great night mm -hmm.